like you're taking people out of high school and having them rebuild transmissions. Yes. And have to prove they work. Yes. Approximately 90,000 square foot. Oh my gosh. We have eight classrooms in there. <coughs> it's called the Dave Coon Training Facility. This was done just over a year ago. Oh, so this is fresh building. This is yes. fairly fresh, yes, sir. Okay. This is automotive. So we have uh, four different uh, pieces to this program. We have EMS, drive abilities, we have a chassis and drive trains. But I'll let Whoa. Mark uh, talk to you about his baby here. Yeah, dang, dude. <laughs> So this is the automotive shop. Um, again, just a little over a year ago, we moved in here. So it's broken up into four different areas. Um, actually three different areas. This side right here, I have four classrooms running of our EMS and our drivability class. So they'll go through basic engine management system, basically learning how an engine works all the way to electricity to oil changes, coolant flushes, and tearing down engines. So, and then they have to complete that class, and then we get into our drivability phase, which is all the codes, both in gasoline and light duty, emissions, ignition systems, fuel systems, everything across the, the automotive side that we're doing over here. Nice. So they'll spend about three months on this side, six week classes, and then they can, Move, either move into a chassis or drivetrain, which we're gonna walk through our chassis shop right now. Okay. So. Man. Now, how many students do you have taking the uh, ASM right now? The automotive side? Yeah. Um, right now, currently we have about 160 in here. Nice. So we have had this full. This is actually quiet. So it kind of drives me nuts a little bit when I don't hear a lot of things going on but um, we've had this up to 300, little over 320 students in nice. here at one time. There's actually eight separate shop areas in here. Oh, that's what, so I, each, I, it looks like section. different businesses under the same roof. You know, it's like some guys are kind of building like the upholstery shops over here. This, uh, I get that feeling from this building really, yeah. really big. Like just the way the lifts are set up and everything, this is really cool. <laughs> and each student has to drive, drive a car on there. They have to be able to look up the specs, where the lifting points are before they even lift the car. That's awesome. So over here in our chassis, they're going to learn, first they're going to start off with brakes, wheels and tires, and uh, move into suspension and steering systems, which they're kind of doing brakes right now. Repair and maintenance? Yep. So they'll be doing everything over here. We got on-car brake lace, which is the industry standard right now that they're doing. Um, every manufacturer now if a brake job comes in you don't take a rotor off you turn it on the car I so didn't know that. yeah then they'll get into once they get done with suspension and steering we'll get into alignments and what we did is we with our light duty diesel incorporation in the automotive side we got some lifts here that'll accept all the big trucks so light duty diesel and is a part of the program is a part of the program we start off with the light duty diesel fuel systems emissions engine construction over there we bring it over here as well to do alignments, suspensions, all that, and brake work. Nice. So um, they're also doing bench lace and AC in here as well. So we teach the both the new YF1234 refrigerant okay. and the R134A refrigerant. Nice. And of course, we got different tire machines so that they can go out and run about any type of equipment they have out there in the field because we don't know where they're going to be at. So right back over here, they we got some mock-ups that the kids are just starting out on brakes. Okay. So these are the on-car brake lace. So we start them off over here just to get them used to the machine, how to set it up, how to mount it on the, the actual car. So we got stands right here, but these will actually be taken off and they're going to be doing them on the cars over there as well. So you find the right hub and they actually have an app that we have the kids download for the pro cuts that they can have on their phone. 
and you can type in any make model and it'll tell you uh, all the adapters uh, it'll tell you the thickness of the rotor that you have to go to it's an all online basis that is amazing and inside these motors it'll actually adjust down to a hundred thousandths of a inch of run out on that rotor so, i mean these are just as good if not better than a right. shop blade yeah that's amazing so you can basically the the whole idea is taking any variation out of the hub the spindle anything and making that true so when you press on the brakes it's a nice smooth transition nice. so Man, you guys got a few of those too we do we do so got one for every lift because like this is how traditionally this is how i learned to do it yep I worked at O'Reilly Auto Parts. I've had to do a thousand of these things. So we still teach drum brakes too here. Okay. Because they're still out there. Yep. So, but yeah, they'll have to do a, a rotor and a drum on these and then do two of those so that they understand now how to do in it. The, like in like a normal, I would say, a dealership, let's say. Is this a technology dealerships are yes. going to? It yes. Is? Okay. Nice. Almost every manufacturer out there has some type of on-car brake light. It may not be the Pro Cuts, but Pro Cut is leading the is way. Is this something that's got introduced the last few years? I'd probably say the last seven, eight years. Really? Yeah. Nice. It started so it's off. developing into a really good system. Though. Yeah, it is. And they constantly upgrade their systems. Like if you want to do a truck with limited slip differential, these some of these have a hard time, so they put a DC motor in it. To where you can adjust it down so you don't turn it as fast That's awesome. so you don't have to take the drive shaft or anything else off that's so cool so this is our drivetrain area basically anything underneath the car that has to do with transmitting power to the wheels so these cars right here the students aren't working on them right now but they're actually going to take these cars get into the service information and they will pull the transmissions out of these pull the look, drop the subframe pull the transmission out, do some seal replacements, and then put it back in the tr really? in the car, put the subframe back on. And then right over here, we have our test drive dyno where they're gonna actually- So they have to prove that it they works. They have to prove that it works. That's awesome. So they pull it up on here and they, we give them a scan tool so that now they can watch what's going on with the engine, check for any check engine lights that come on while it's driving check for proper operation of that transmission in all forward gears. So that is one project they will actually do right there. <laughs> so these, like you're taking people out of high school and having them rebuild transmissions. Yes. And have to prove they work. Yes. Brother, that's awesome. So right here is where we're actually getting these guys to build the transmissions. So what we do as a class as we come out, as you can see, we got an overhead up there. So we actually tear down these transmissions the first day of class. Okay. We get them out here, we check out the toolboxes, and we start in on disassembly of this. So they start step by step, instructor led, pulling all the parts out of these transmissions. Then what we do is we got an online service information on how to put this thing back together. So once we get done with all that, now we say, okay, open up your laptop. Here's your book, start on this page. And you inspect this, tell us any seals that are bad. We got all the parts for them. They replace bad parts to make them work. And we say, okay, here's your sign offs. You put this together by this book. So they have to follow that service information. Awesome. Then we get into all wheel drive, four wheel drive, of course, transfer cases. We got those out in the storage unit, what we'll bring in and they all work. They have to tear them down understand how that transfer case or all-wheel drive works. And like these guys right now, this is a light duty diesel truck that we have in here. So they're working on onboard diagnostics and waveforms in the fuel system. So they got scan tools inside, looking at all the parameters of what's going on with this diesel truck. That's awesome. So we like to say we try to keep it about a 50-50 ratio from lecture time to shop time it actually turns more into probably a 40 percent lecture 50 percent or 60 percent shop because we're out here showing these kids how all the tools hands work hands-on lecture every vehicle in here right now is all owned by wyotech so we go out try to find them on facebook marketplace we work with a couple dealers here in town 
Um, we got a couple trucks as you walked by, it said CMB. They donated a whole bunch of their fleet that they were getting rid of. So it's a combination between donations and us buying them, but we own them all. And we'll, you know, if we don't have it, if a student has his or her own personal vehicle they'd like to bring in, once again, we get more excitement generated by working on your own project, yeah. right, than you do one of ours. It's like, oh, this is never going to see the road, right? Uh, bring yours in. Let's show you how to work on your own. You want to do brakes? Let's do brakes on your personal vehicle. You know, you want to do some diagnostics? Bring it on in. Let's do some diagnostics on your. You having problems? Let's see if we can't go ahead and walk you through how to repair it yourself. Okay. Once again, you get excited about working on your own project, that just leads to great, great things in the future. Personal connection. That's right. Exactly. The students that come in here, are most of them like fresh out of high school that come into a course I'd like I'd probably this? say the majority are fresh out of high school. We do have some military that come in. I got you. We got some students that come in, they've had a career and they decided I don't want to do that anymore. They come in, so to really develop their develop skillset. what they want to do. That's awesome. And go forward. The, the opportunities you're giving to the future of our industry is going to keep it going. I appreciate y'all as always. Mm -hmm.